In the year 2000, John Pellin and George Davis of Fast Track Promotions held an event called the Legends 2000. And what this was is an invitational event. They put together a board that basically invited who they thought were the legends of ATV racing. So you had guys like Gary Denton, eight-time GNC national champion, Dean Sundahl, who King Dean is considered one of the best all-time ATV riders ever, uh, Marty Hart, Mike Coe, uh, another one of their team Honda teammates, Curtis Sparks, their nemesis from Kawasaki, Jimmy White, uh, as well as you had like Donnie Banks, John Scott, as well as a handful of other guys. And a lot of them were on borrowed four-wheelers from a lot of the top riders at the time. Um, some hadn't been racing for quite a while. Others had only been retired for a few years. But I came across old DV tapes that show the heat races as well as the main event. You want to check this out and see who wins. <laughs> On the double zero seven, Tim Helder from Portia, his teammate for this round on the number thirty one, rider number nine, in his second position, number forty three, Curtis Sparks from Bakersfield, California. In the fourth position on the 43. In the fifth spot at 34, Dean Sundahl. Sundahl from the fifth position. Round number 43 in the first rounds of Legends qualifying, Curtis Sparks from Bakersfield, California. In the fourth position behind Jimmy White, who pressured Alan Santa from Santa Fe, California. Knowles in the second position. And he must be wide enough out there to keep Jimmy White away, at least for a couple of laps. White's down on the inside. The door opened for a minute there. White down on the inside, trying to make the pass. White will action behind him. And giving him the opportunity to move into the second position now. Just a quick look back by Alan Knowles, and White tucked down to the inside of turn number one. Helder is holding on the throttle and not look back. He takes a quick peek back and sees another green machine, the only one left in the pack. Notices White right behind him. Normally, uh, running a four-stroke machine, doing so much research and development with those machines, Curtis Sparks trying to get the wheels underneath of them and make some real quick passes here, watching for running up the street on his bank. We really dominate here. As it turns out, the experimental Kawasaki comes right up to the top. Jimmy White was having spring problems earlier. In, in, not in qualifying, rather, but in, in the uh, hot lap session yesterday and today as well. And as it turns out, what it needed to be, Donnie Banks makes the corner and has the second spot tied up. The wind goes to Helder, second to Banks, third to White.
from Sega, San Diego, California. It's had a very respectable day so far. Coming out cold on the racetrack right now, holding on to the position. To see. We didn't know if we'd get all these guys robbed and out of time for it doesn't look like you're off the mark very far at all. You're right back on top of the game. I was out there. there. If you liked watching that and seeing those ATV legends battle it out, 
I have interviews with most of these riders that are in other videos. You can click on these links and check them out. It's pretty cool to see what they have to say about what racing was like back in the day and how it progressed. Uh, a lot of their stories, what their favorite bikes were, as well as I ask them who they think the best rider of all time is. So you'll want to see what they have to say. Make sure to like and subscribe and also add any comments if there's things that you guys want to see, what you thought of these races, who you thought surprised you in the race. Um, go ahead and comment below.